Instead of going to the outside of your partner's far leg, you're gonna to go to the inside of your partner's near leg here, and we can often knock our partner down. So when we see that, now it's time for us to follow up here with the ashi. Oh, oh. Three no-gi foot sweeps. We can interplay between them. It's hard to foot sweep somebody who's just like solid and not moving at all. When we're standing up, it's not always just the first attack that comes out of the gate that you're gonna land. It's often gonna be the second or third after your partner has reacted to your initial attack. So that's how we're gonna do this. All right, so what are our major attacks? We're gonna be focusing on working from chest to chest here. Okay, generally speaking, for those of you who are not comfortable with this position, really this comes out of our battle for double underhooks usually. You know, like if Sensei digs his arms through and gets double underhooks, it's such a dominant position that it's going to be pretty hard for me to recover from here. Okay, he's going to be able to shoot, he can throw, um, he can bend me backwards. So you'll often see when we're in this position, there's a reason for it. It's not an artificial position. If I can prevent his left arm from swimming in underneath by keeping my right arm here underneath his arm, then I'm gonna have at least a neutral position and also have a chance to dig my own arm through to start to lock for double underhooks. Okay, so this is kind of basic, but just a framework for where we're starting from. So we're gonna start here over under, and we have a couple of good attacks from here. The first will be our uh, Kosoto. So a Kosoto is, we're gonna take our right leg and we're gonna to reach to our partner's far leg. Now, it's important that we're not too loose or upright here. We wanna be heavy on our partner's underhook so that he can't easily raise this high and start to take us out in this direction, okay? This is bad news. So we're gonna stay heavy here and we're gonna reach with our right leg and the idea is that we wanna get a connection on our partner's, the outside of our partner's leg as we're reaching here. Now, if you can get this, that's great. A lot of times you can hop into that leg and if your partner doesn't do anything from here, you can uh, kind of start to look to off balance them and you can use your knee to support. You can sweep your partner, knock them down this way. Okay, this is a basic Kosoto. But once you start to do this, you're gonna get a set of reactions. So one reaction is as you go to get this thing uh, going, your partner takes this foot to try to step away. All right, so as you go to reach, your partner takes that step out. This is a great opportunity for us to go kochigari here on this leg because your partner's feet are wide. So instead of going to the outside of your partner's far leg, you're gonna to go to the inside of your partner's near leg here and we can often knock our partner down. This version of Kosoto involves us kind of splitting our partner's legs and you get that banana peel effect where they fall down to the ground. So over under one, we're gonna go reaching for our partner's far leg. If we get it great, but we get this step out reaction here, that's fine. Now from here, we're coming through and we're gonna connect on our partner's near leg. Okay, so that's one Kosoto to Koji. Mm -hmm. Another reaction that you'll get is as you go to reach here, your partner will shuffle away from you. Okay, they'll take this leg and they'll move it out in this direction. So when we see that, now it's time for us to follow up here with the Ashi. So, the diashi is your left leg attacking the outside of your partner's leg. So we start with this initial posture. We get our kosoto going and we see our partner stepping. We're gonna step our right leg down and then your left leg is gonna come through and you're gonna connect your partner's two feet together, raise your right arm and you'll get a big foot sweep. So you can play these three off of each other. You can either do it in the sequence that we're doing it now where you start over under, you begin with an attack on the far side, and then you kind of gauge your partner's reactions here. Or you could start with one of the other attacks. We could start with a kochi here and start to get our partner reacting and then change off here to our version of uh, kosoto. If our partner is moving already here as they start to kind of drift away from us here, that's fine. We can often stay tight and look to block our partner's knee. As they go to move and react, there's the diashi. As we go to pull and attack again, we see the stance is a little wide and there's our opportunity for Kochi. So you have these three distinct attacks. One where your right foot goes across to the outside. The other where your right foot goes to the inside. And the third where your left foot goes here to the outside. Even if you don't finish the sweep, if you just kind of stumble your partner around, you have opportunities to take double underhooks. If you go Koichi and your partner steps back and they bring their head down here, that's an opportunity for us to start to move in the front headlocks, and then from here you can start to wrestle. So we have a lot of different opportunities there. You can chain these together. And if it wasn't for Sensei, I'd have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Oops. 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 Oops.